Born and Dead here again. Um, I recently just posted up my Dreamcast VGA box video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it if you're curious. Um, for all of you out there who are wondering, um, some of the some of the game programmers didn't um, they didn't set up the games so that they could run on a VGA monitor through the 480p. So I'm going to do a quick little demonstration video just to show you how to bypass um, games that don't have it. Uh, so let me just go ahead and show that to y'all. Um, if you have a VGA box and you want to play it on a monitor, first thing you have to do is set your VGA box to run on the TV mode. I just realized I never plugged this back in. Give me a second. Let's go ahead and set your VGA box to TV mode. Now this helps if you have speakers for this, because the speakers are a little cheat you can use. But actually, since mine's hooked to the TV, we'll use the TV at the same time. Or maybe we won't. No, we won't, because I had it in the wrong setting. Set it to TV mode. Here we go. Turn it on. This is for the speakers. Alright. Now once it does this, at this point, that's when you can switch it. And then you look over here at the monitor. Light turns green. Picture comes on the monitor. Simple as that. So let me just go ahead and show you that this game wouldn't work with a monitor. This is a burned copy of uh, Bust to Move 4. And this copy doesn't work on a monitor. So it does all this. And then it gives you this pop up of switch this to. This game doesn't support the AV cab cable that is currently connected to the main console. Turn off the power and replace the AV cable. So, that's just the easiest way to do it. If you have speakers, listen for it. If you don't have speakers, you have to listen for whenever the Dreamcast stops loading. And there. Switch over. Simple as that. Alright then guys, thanks for watching. Peace.